Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. Today is Saturday. I'm Jeff. It is mid 50s, maybe even 60 degrees out here. It is cloudy. Uh, you can probably barely see the top of the mountain behind me. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my new subscribers. I've gotten like 50 new subscribers in the past couple days. Uh, thanks to some wonderful shout outs and some uh, just great channels that are helping us uh, smaller YouTube channels that have less than a thousand subscribers. I just passed 600, so that's just wonderful. Uh, big thank you to Rain Country. Uh, they gave me a great shout out this morning. Southern Ark Homestead, she gave me a, a great shout out also. Um, and then just in the comment sections at White House on the Hill and Homestead Tessie. And, you know, I just put comments in there and I've gotten new subscribers. So, welcome to all my new subscribers. Today I just want to do, well, none of my videos are quick. You'll learn that about me. But, I'm trying. I just want to do a quick overview here. Um, I'm in Arkansas. I have 2.8 acres. I moved down here in October. So, just, uh, just a few months ago. Uh, I bought this place for $5,000. And with some help, um, I was able to pull that off. So I have no mortgage. I have no rent. The property taxes here are minimal. And that's kind of my lifestyle is a minimalist um, kind of lifestyle. I mean, I'm not a complete minimalist. And uh, as, as I'll show you in a minute here. Uh, anyway, I have, I have Parkinson's disease. So some days are better than others. I try not to, I try not to be a victim of it and I try not to use it as an excuse. I'm not always successful in those endeavors but I, I give it a try. Um, you know there are ways to work around it and it's just it's just no fun. I you know I went through those periods where I was the victim and uh, it's hard to get out of that. It can be hard to get out of that. So maybe I'll inspire some other people. Uh, you don't have to be 100% in shape and uh, a great physical specimen and all that to, to do homesteading and to be more self-sufficient uh, and self-reliant. Let's see. Uh, okay, now I guess I will show you around a little bit of the homestead. I really love my location here. That is Magazine Mountain. There's a lodge up there. Um, there are cabins. There's a state park up there. A very fancy restaurant. I haven't even been up there yet. So uh, that's going to have to be on my to-do list here very soon. And I wonder, I bet I can see my property from up there. But anyway, that is the southernmost point of the Ozarks. Uh, that is part of the Ozarks right there, and this is my little this is the little lane that I live on here There's a cattle gate uh, in the road down there. I don't know if you can see it, but I've just got one neighbor off to the side and Then my cool neighbor with the cows lives at the end of this uh, This little lane, but we're the only three places on this uh, On this lane now, I'm gonna swing you around that's the property across the lane from me. And here's the lane. At the end of the lane, you might see the mailboxes. On the other side of the mailboxes there, that is the Wachita National Forest. So I live right between them. And you can probably see the outline of the mountain right there. And that's part of the Wachita. So this is where I'm at and this is my location. And so let's take a little tour of my $5,000 property. Uh, there's a brush pile that used to be a, this tree, that tree right there, and there was a there was a muscadine, big, huge muscadine bush, and so that's all been torn out. These three bales of hay, my cool neighbor with the cows gave me, and I'll be using that in various forms. That is an old, uh, well, it was supposed to be a house, but it's, uh, it's about to fall over. And it was never finished, and it's just full of junk. Uh, this is the mobile home, and it was just completely full of trash and junk, uh, rotted out floors, 
and I basically just I've cleaned it out of all the junk and trash I redid the flooring there's a front bedroom it's like uh, 10 feet by 15 feet and that's where I live I painted the floors I cleaned it up and uh, you know turned it into my my living situation uh, that tent I call it my poop tent that's my outhouse and behind that tent is another old shed that's fallen apart and then over here is another old shed thing that is full of trash and junk and that's what you get for five thousand bucks so uh, this is basically the front acre of my property here what are my plans well I when I was cleaning out the mobile home I took out all the carpet so I'm using the carpet as a ground cover this winter to um, then in the spring I will you know roll it up and plant some flowers so this general area right here I want to turn into a flower patch I am going to try to sell some flowers at there are local farmers markets and so I'll just you know try to learn my market area what's selling what's not uh, of course there are florists and uh, you know everywhere <laughs> every place in the country has funerals and high school dances so and Valentine's Day and Mother's Day and you know so flowers are uh, flowers are a good option for anybody wanting to make uh, some side income because 80% of the flowers in the United States that are sold come from outside the United States so I'm gonna try to take advantage of that little market here so that's what I'm doing here um, uh, over here that is my compost pile which I have started it seems to be going good my goal this winter is to clear out uh, the brush um, to my property line back there uh, from north to south my property is 264 feet so just short of a football field wide and it's 462 feet in this direction so I've got another almost two acres behind this mobile home which is just all overgrown brush and stuff and that will be future projects uh, I guess that's it another one of my goals is I've started to build a cattle panel chicken coop and I still need to uh, still need some more lumber and I need a tarp to put over it and yeah that's it these four ladies right here when I I bought the place in July and then I had to go back to Illinois to sell my place there and I didn't move back down here until October these four hens and I there were five I, I came here like August 1st just to take ownership put new locks on blah 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 before I went back to Illinois and there were five hens when I came back in October there were four left which is amazing because they were on their own there were no humans around giving them food or water uh, they had no chicken coop they were uh, wild and free in the in the literal sense uh, they still do not have a coop they roost in the trees at night they come and go as they please and I have named them one two three and four based on their pecking order uh, so yeah that's the four hens also when I got here where is she Oh, usually she's following me around also when I got here there was an injured uh, cat hi kitty yeah you're limping I see that Aww. what's up That is the little injured kitty that uh, that came crying up to me on the first day I was here in October.
very young cat. She had an open wound on her left front paw. She was limping. She could not put weight on it. And so she adopted me. And that's, that's the story. So I took her to the vet. We got her some, uh, got her some stuff for her paw, uh, antibiotics so it wouldn't be infected and nursed her back to health and she's almost back to 100% today. Very young, she's probably less than a year old. And my sister came up from Florida for over a month and was helping me out around here and she also helped to get uh, my cat fixed. Uh, this is behind my mobile home. As you can see there are a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, aluminum cans and trash and junk and uh, yeah, so I've got my work cut out for me. Yeah, a lot more junk over there. I've got my work cut out for me on this property, but like I said, no mortgage, no rent, and just quick, free, and easy living. One more thing I want to mention is that there have been three other stray cats that have... Well, they've all tried to get inside the house and eat her food, and some with some success. So I've been leaving food outside for them when I see them, and but they're they're stray, probably feral cats, and so this place might be turning into a stray cat refuge. I do not know. Fine with me. I like cats. In addition to my sister coming up from Florida for a month, I do have some relatives that live in Russellville. It's about 45 miles from here. It's about an hour drive. Uh, so I can go into town there. Uh, I can't use the shower. Well, I, there is no shower here. There is no septic or sewer, uh, which is why I'm using the composting system. And I have not had the water tested yet, but with all the trash on the ground, I'm just a little leery of, of drinking that. So I go into Russellville uh, usually once a week and get my drinking water and cooking water and that's kind of my situation uh, my relatives in Russellville are all over the age of 80 <laughs> so they help out tremendously uh, how they can in their way and that's that's been a big boost to uh, me getting started here at Bobblehead Homestead and I've also I just in the course of my life I have met some wonderful wonderful friends from kindergarten, grade school, high school, uh, from college, and uh, previous work that I've done in, you know, politics and hotel business, and, you know, I've just met a ton of wonderful people who are helping me out along the way, uh, so thank you to everyone who has contributed to all of the fun that I'm having here at Bobblehead Homestead. This is just wonderful. And, you know, slowly but surely, I want to turn this place into something that uh, I can really be proud of. I'm already proud of uh, some of the accomplishments, but there's still a lot of work to do. And um, so that's what I'm going to try to do. So thanks for watching. And now I'm going to go inside and do my shout out for another small YouTube channel. Today's shout out I want to give to Julie Silversmith. The very first video I did on YouTube last February 27th, 2017, almost a year ago, the first video I did on YouTube was to enter a contest from the Pratt Family Homestead. And on that video, I gave a bunch of shout outs to channels that I had been watching for, I had been watching YouTube homesteading channels for at least a year before I put up my first video. And then like, you know, all, all of my beginning videos, I'm just talking about other homesteading uh, YouTube channels and videos. But, but anyway, Julie Silversmith is one of the channels that I recommended on my very first video, so I'm going to recommend uh, you give her a shot again. She's getting very, very close to a thousand. So, got a month left. Hopefully, a few of you out there can help her out. Uh, uh, she is in Texas with her family. She does a lot of crafty stuff. 
and does ceramics and, uh, and makes stuff with leather and, and does survival uh, gear reviews and just, uh, you know, a hodgepodge of all kinds of interesting things. So go check out Julie Silversmith. Here is a picture of her homepage on YouTube and I'll see you later.